In this video, I'll be showing you this. It's the Neff S155 HCX27 Fully Integrated Dishwasher. What I want to do today is to show you around the dishwasher, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just for a start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe. Neff are really well known for their kitchen cooking appliances, things like ovens and hobs. Uh, but they also do a range of other kitchen appliances as well, things like dishwashers. Now, this is a model that, as a company, we actually do really well with. So what I'll do is I'll first show you inside the dishwasher, and then I'll show you some of the programs that this offers. Now, I'm going to work from the top down, and part of the reason we do really well with this dishwasher is this. You've actually got a cutlery tray at the top, and this is one of those, it's one of those features that, I'll be honest, it's, it's quite a Marmite product, and what I mean by that is people either love it or hate it. Uh, the main advantage of having this kind of cutlery tray is that you can spread all your knives and forks and spoons and uh, everything around on the top. The cleaning performance will normally be better than if you just have them in a standard cutlery basket at the bottom. Um, also, you do gain space because by not having the cutlery at the bottom and putting it at the top, then you're freeing up space in the bottom rack there. Uh, I suppose the main downsides, and I will be honest, the main downsides of having something like this are that it reduces the height in the top basket here. So as you pull that out, you'll notice that the height to the top of the dishwasher is still the same as a standard dishwasher, but clearly what you've done is you've lost the height. Now, if you've got really tall wine glasses, then that could be an issue. If not, then that, I suppose this kind of dishwasher is, is gonna be ideal for you. Uh, you will notice that in the top rack here, that you've got several red parts, and these are actually rubber. Um, this is really good for, again, things like glasses, where they could slip down. Uh, also, some of these can actually fold down as well. So any with the, the red end on it there, you can actually fold these down to create a, a flatter surface area. You've also got a feature on here where you've got the handles on the side, so you can reduce or raise the height of the top basket. Uh, and that, it, again, is very, very useful. Uh, Neff are not the only company to do this. All of the sister companies like Bosch and Siemens do this as well on the majority of their models. Uh, but all it does, it just allows you to reduce or raise the, the height of the basket. And if anything, that could really help with taking the, the or increasing the height to the, the tray underneath there. As you get to the front here, you will notice that you've got a little section, so it's a little slot. First of all, that acts as a handle, so you can pull the, the top tray in and out like that. But really the main purpose is that the tablet, when it's put in the bottom, so partway through the wash, it will actually drop into here. And the main advantage of that is that the tablet will disperse and it will dissolve perfectly every time. Uh, on some other dishwashers, you could find that when the tablet drops out, if it falls into a cup or into a bowl or something, it might not dissolve properly. As you come to the bottom tray, you'll notice that some of these, again, you've got the, the red ends, so these can all fold down. Now, personally, I think in the bottom tray here, that's even more important than at the top, uh, because if you've got things like big saucepans or big casserole dishes, then you want to create a nice big flat area. So in this model, all of these can fold down flat, so you just create one large flat area. Uh, and that can be good for things like your, your pans. So if you've got a, a greasy uh, pan or bar say barbecue racks that you put in here, uh, you've also got this. So you can put other items across here uh, just to, to help with the cleaning process. Uh, just while we're on the subject of cleaning things like grill racks, uh, I will just point out, just leaning behind the camera now, to get this cheeky little device. Now this is called a large item spray head and this is often, this is one of the most common questions that we get, uh, mainly in, in a showroom where people come back in and they go, you know, what is this and what does it do? So as I say, it's called a large item spray head and the idea is that you can take the, the top basket out and then put that to the back and what that uh, really does is it helps to clean large items. That's why it's called a large item spray head. And it's, again, it's things like your grill racks or huge big pans that you can put in here. Um, and all it will do is it will just disperse the water around the dishwasher. So that's what that does. Uh, you will also notice that just inside here, it is a full stainless steel interior. 
some manufacturers are going towards the cheaper polynox or plastic base. Personally, I'm a huge fan of stainless steel interiors. I just think they last a lot longer than some of the cheaper plastic interiors. Uh, I know some brands are going towards the cheaper interiors, mainly for, I suppose, a cost-cutting exercise. Uh, but also we found that sometimes if you drop something on a plastic interior, uh, I did have a customer where they hadn't had their dishwasher that long. Uh, they just dropped something accidentally on it. I think it was a, a casserole dish. It cracked it. And then that's pretty much it. You, you can't really do anything with it. Uh, you can't really repair it and that was it that was right off of the dishwasher so full stainless interior that's really the way I'd recommend when it comes to cleaning and maintenance of the dishwasher it's really easy first of all you've got the filters just at the back this is quite a quite a standard kind of filter for the Neff, Bosch and Siemens dishwashers that just pops in there and then once you've cleaned it it just drops back into into that section uh, you've got the spray head that just pulls out so that's nice and easy to keep clean uh, salt that's really important to fill uh, just make sure you use proper dishwasher salt don't use table salt uh, that's that's something again that some customers get a little bit confused with uh, all salt will do is it just helps to reduce the amount of lime scale buildup you get within the dishwasher uh, i'd always recommend using salt uh, don't rely on the three in one or four in one tablets that you can get Although they do serve a purpose, I'd always recommend using uh, use the proper dishwasher salt. Um, it doesn't cost a huge amount nowadays, uh, and you can find that the performance of the wash will be a lot better if you use salt. And also, the other thing is the rinse aid. Uh, I'd, again, I'd recommend using a use a good quality brand uh, of rinse aid and also the tablets. Uh, if you try some of the cheaper brand tablets, then you can find that the again the performance isn't quite as good. So I'd recommend just giving, a, giving quite a few a try. When you first turn the dishwasher on, you press that for a second and hold it, then you'll notice you've got a really nice, clear, white LED display. Uh, I love these displays. Um, it's something that Neff have used on their dishwashers for some time now. Uh, you've got some little red symbols, and they are normally things like it's, it's telling me to fill salt and the rinse aid at the moment. Clearly this is in a showroom, it's not been used yet. Uh, so I'm uh, not surprised it's got those warning symbols. I'll quickly run through some of the programs. Now the Eco 50, that's a 50 degree wash, and you will find that it's a quite a long wash, uh, 4 hours 55. Uh, this is really ideal if you're not in a hurry for it, clearly at 5 hours uh, you, you shouldn't be in a hurry for it, uh, but this is a very very energy efficient wash, it doesn't use a huge amount of water and electricity. Uh, the next one to use well, the next option is the auto 45 to 65 degrees. Uh, you will notice it's a lot quicker, so uh, 2 hours 20, and that will vary depending on the temperature that it selects. Uh, now what this program will do is it will actually send a certain amount of water in towards the beginning of the wash, and depending on how dirty the water is, then it will select either 45, well between 45 and 65 degrees. Now you don't tend to know which temperature it's selected, uh, it's just really the duration of the wash that would indicate. So if it was slightly longer than that, then it could go up to the slightly higher temperature towards the 55 to 65 degrees. Uh, but that's a really good one, I suppose, especially if you've, um, say, had a quite a dirty wash, but it doesn't need the, the full extent of this next program. So they call it the Chef 70 degrees. Uh, that's really as high as a uh, higher temperature as it gets at 70 degrees and that's really good if you've had things like a, a Sunday roast where you've done a, um, a lot of a lot of cooking a lot of greasy pots and pans you just want to give it a really really good clean then 70 degrees is the way to go uh, the classic 60 so a much quicker program hour and a half uh, with that one that's good as more of an everyday program so things like you you cut some plates and bowls uh, if you use every day, they're not too dirty, then that's really the, the one to look at. Next program is the glass 40 degrees. Uh, again, a, a relatively quicker program, so 1 hour 45. Uh, that's really ideal for more delicate items. So if you, I suppose if you don't want to hand wash items, then that could be a good one to use. You have got a favourite option, so if there was a favourite combination of different options, which I'll show you over here on the right hand side in a moment, uh, plus the program, then what you can do is you can just select and save a favourite. Uh, you have got time delay, so if you wanted it to be delayed for 
things like e economy reasons. So if you were if you've got things like Economy 7, where you get cheap electricity during the night, then that's a really good option to, to select, and that just delays the, the start of the program. You've also got an option called Home Connect. Uh, now that just enables you to set up and to connect your phone or tablet to the dishwasher. Uh, Home Connect is something that we get mixed feedback about, I'll be completely honest. Uh, some people love it because they like the ability that they can see the progress of how their dishwasher is doing the program. Also, you can start the program from your phone or tablet when you're out. Um, other people will like the diagnostic element of it. Uh, there's quite a lot coming with Home Connect. Uh, I think it's, uh, although it's been around for I suppose, several years now, it's something that isn't really shouted about with Bosch, Neff and Siemens. Uh, I think there's a lot that they can do with it. Uh, but I think over the next 12 to 18 months, uh, from what I hear, just watch this space. Um, extra dry. These are good for, uh, if you've got things like uh, kids' plates or kids' cups, the plastic ones, sometimes they're really difficult for a dishwasher to get dry. Now that's really where that comes into its own. Just press the extra dry button and then that should hopefully help to get everything a lot drier. Uh, power zone. So this is really, if you've had something that, um, say for example a casserole dish, uh, where you've, you've cooked something and it's really baked on in there, uh, then the power zone is uh, one location in the bottom basket, so it's the lower basket, um, and all you do is you press that and that really helps to get those items clean. Extra speed. Now this is an option which personally I think is a very good idea, and let me just show you over here. So some of the programs Let's just get rid of the time delay. So this goes up to 24 hours, by the way. I should have mentioned that. Then it goes back to zero. So if we were to select a program, for example, the Eco 50 degrees, for a lot of people, almost five hours, uh, unless you're doing it overnight, then that's quite a, quite a lengthy program. If you press the extra speed button, then that reduces that to an hour and 13. Now that really is fantastic. Uh, I'll just show you on one of the other programs, so the Auto 4565, extra speed, reduce it to an hour and 40. Uh, let's go to this one, so extra speed to an hour and 16. Clearly if you are going to speed up the wash, then the performance of the program may not be quite as good, uh, especially if you're doing something like this. So if you're going to wash at 4 hours 55, if you're expecting it to everything to be as clean, uh, and sparkly in an hour and 13, then you will more than likely be mistaken. Then the final program to show you is this one. This is the Easy Clean. Uh, as it says, it takes around two hours to do, uh, but this is really designed to, you don't have anything in it, so it's, a, it's just a cleaning program for the dishwasher. Uh, personally, I always recommend putting this kind of program on probably once a month, uh, but it can really depend on the temperature of the washes that you're doing within the dishwasher. If you do find that you're using some of these programs, some of the higher temperatures, then I personally I think you won't need to use the Easy Clean program as often. Uh, although if you're going to use some of the lower temperatures, like the Class 40 and the Eco 50, then there may be a chance that you'll need to use the Easy Clean option a little bit more often. I mentioned earlier that as a company we do really well with this dishwasher, and I suppose the main selling features on it are the tray at the top, the full stainless steel interior, the display and a range of programs. But for me, the next feature that I mention is uh, almost the, the pièce de résistance, as they would say. Uh, and with this, it's called Time Light. Uh, a common problem with a lot of integrated dishwashers is you don't know how long you've got left in the program. It displays in this, on the inside there, but once the door is shut, then you don't really know how long you've got left for the program to finish. So if you were to select a program and then press Start, then you know it's going to take 4 hours 55, but you don't really know, once you shut the door, how long that's going to be. If you have a look at the bottom here, you'll see this. This is a feature called Time Light, and it's just a, a little light that shines from underneath the dishwasher. And that is a fantastic feature. Uh, it's not exclusive to Neff. Some of the sister companies have it as well. Uh, but what it, that's displaying is that that's just showing that I need to put salt and rinse aid in the dishwasher. But the main, I uh, suppose, piece of information is it's showing that it's going to take 4 hours 55 for the remainder of the program. 
Just quickly show the energy label on the dishwasher. Uh, first of all, it's showing that it's a D energy rating. Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, D isn't that great, uh, but you will find uh, at the moment, if you're comparing it to other dishwashers, uh, around the similar price range, then that is actually pretty good. Uh, also, it shows you the uh, average energy consumption, 85 kilowatt hours per 100 cycles. Uh, 14 place settings, that's really helped by having the top tray. Uh, and what, as I mentioned earlier, by having the tray at the top, then that frees up extra space. That's how they get to the 14 place settings. Nine and a half litres of water, uh, that's something that personally I always recommend people look at the energy label because things like nine and a half litres of water for a wash or for one of the washes is actually really, really good. Uh, anything less than 10 litres to do a full wash is definitely something worth talking about. If you're thinking about buying one of these dishwashers, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the NEF S155 HCX27 integrated dishwasher. All I would normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. I always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video, whether you enjoyed it, whether you didn't enjoy it. Uh, if you've uh, come to watch the video and if there's something that I've not mentioned uh, or if you've got any questions on it then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also if you have got a NEF integrated dishwasher, it doesn't have to be this one, uh, if you've got a NEF integrated dishwasher then let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.